Honorable members, the head count is starting now. Speaker, before we start the head count, I will seek your guidance on this. As at the time the question was put, Honorable Tuferu, Honorable John Kuma, Honorable Kennedy Japon, and Honorable Kutasa Brevin were not here. So, Mr. Speaker, the four of them were not here. If at any time, and they are still not here. So, as we begin, if they come, because they are not part, Mr. Speaker, we should know those who were here and those who are not here. Thank you very much. Um, honorable members, please. Hon honorable members, order, order 113. Order 1134. 1134 says a member. A member may vote in a division even if he did not hear the question put. That's the standing orders. So please, let's start. Let's start the head count. Table office, let's start the head count. Honorable members, they will mention your name, you will stand up, and you will be counted. Honorable members, please, even if
Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, with respect. Mr. Speaker, we take notice of your pronouncement that, Mr. Speaker, we have heard you on, Mr. Speaker, we have heard you on your pronouncement that you think the eyes have it. You don't have the floor, Apeño, you don't have the floor. He, you said, you don't have the floor. Mr. Speaker, you don't have the floor. If you want to entertain, you don't, you don't have the floor. For a head count, Mr. you don't have the floor. You don't have the floor. Head count on their side, since they are challenging. You don't have the floor. 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 And we are leaving the chamber for them. Yes, we are leaving the chamber for you. Now do the head count and see whether you have the number to overturn Mr. Speaker's ruling. Interesting scenes in Parliament as the majority leadership announced they are announcing a boycott and it is not clear if they are going to carry through with this but a lot of MPP MPs are still seated because they know what a big gamble this will be if they walk out and this budget is rejected this will be such a big decision and that is why I see the Deputy Finance Minister challenging the decision is talking to the Deputy Whip and saying that this is something they should do. Or say Chairman Sabo is still asking that everybody should leave and people are still seated. Some people do not want to leave, clearly defying the majority leader. Some MPs do not want to see this. He's calling his leadership. He says, let's go. But some MPs are still seated. And these are the scenes here in Parliament. Or say Chairman Sabo who clearly has made his decision together with leadership. They say they want to walk out. They do not agree with the decision of the Speaker that they should do a head count that will involve calling the name of individual MPs. The minority are seated and say they are going to vote and they are going to reject this budget. The majority MPs are getting up and they are leaving. This is surreal. This is the scenes we saw in 2021 when the budget was rejected due to the E-Levy. When majority MPs walked out, the budget was rejected. This time around, it appears some NPP MPs are clearly not happy with a decision to walk out, they are still seated in their places. Osei Chairman Sabusu has just walked out completely. His leadership are going, and now most of the NPP MPs are also leaving. Are they walking out on the budget presented by the finance minister, who himself is still standing on the floor, clearly really evaluating what a decision this will be? Because if they leave, they leave the majority with the numbers to vote against this budget. It will mean the House cannot go ahead and consider the various estimates. This is a real surreal moments in Parliament. You are live here on Joy News, our live coverage. The finance minister there in a conversation with his deputy, Abinos Yassari, about what exactly they are about to do and whether it will inure to the benefit of the government. I see a lot of protest from within the MPP circles. So many of them not happy with the decision to walk out, but they are leaving. The deputy speakers are still seated. And they are just having a tete-a-tete. -tete. They are members of the majority. Are they also going to join the majority leader 
in walking out. What kind of strategy will this be? It is really the kind of scenes that we saw in 2021 when the E-Levy conversation happened. So a lot of interesting conversations happening on the floor of the house and a lot of numbers really coming up here. It's a numbers game. Our understanding is that a number of NPP majority MPs were not available on the floor, which would have meant that if there was a headcount vote, it would have meant that the House would not have gotten the numbers. The Speaker of Parliament says he's suspending sitting. The Speaker of Parliament says he's suspending sitting. The minority MPs are clearly opposed to that. They want to stay and make sure that the vote is hard. The Speaker of Parliament has just suspended sitting here in Parliament. And that is what the minority are challenging. You see John Jinapo there saying, why are you doing this? And NPP MPs, wow, incredible moments here in Parliament as the NDC still fight to reject the 2024 budget. The Speaker of Parliament has suspended sitting. This means that the vote is not going to happen as we expected and clearly has left the NDC MPs furious that this has happened. They wanted to stay and vote and reject the decision. To take you down memory lane, the last time the majority walked out on their own budget, the minority MP stayed, the Speaker of Parliament, Alban Babin, was on the floor and he let the vote happen and the budget was rejected. This time around, he has elected to suspend sittings for some time. He did not specify what time he is going to return for sitting to continue. But like I was telling you, there are a lot of majority MPs who are not on board with this decision to walk out. They believe it's a bad strategy that they should be able to stay on the floor and vote. There's, there, it appears the Speaker of Parliament has handed them a lifeline by his decision to suspend sitting, which means the vote is not going to happen, at least not for now. It will take some time before the Speaker of Parliament will come for the vote to happen. Probably by the time that happens, the majority MPs will get their numbers and they will come back and ensure that the vote clearly happens. I see John Jinapo there clearly in your shot, not happy at all. In fact, he's asking, why would you suspend sitting? Why would you suspend sitting? I see the aide of the speaker has come in to call the minority leadership, that the speaker of parliament is calling them. And so the minority leadership are now walking out. They are going to see the speaker. They are going to have a conversation, perhaps about what is expected to happen. Amaku Fibo has taken the lead. The minority leader himself, Dr. Kisela Tofosin, having a conversation with Muntaka Mubarak in the center of parliament to devise the strategy that the minority will use to reject this budget. Surreal scenes in parliament. The budget statement was debated, concluded today. We heard from Dr. Kisela Tofosin, who made a strong case for why these budgets must be rejected, while Ose Chairman Sabunsu believed this budget is really the budget that will turn the tides of the economy and so asked that that is done. We understand there are going to be some news conferences. We'll take you down pretty shortly. But surreal scenes, that is the word I can get in terms of what exactly has happened in Parliament. The majority, just like in 2021, have walked away from the budget. The decision to vote, they've walked away on that. And the, the Speaker has just extended an invitation to the minority leadership. My understanding is that the majority may also be there to have a certain understanding of what exactly they should do to proceed with this. They're clearly not happy with the decision of the speaker to suspend sitting. The majority leadership about to dress journalists uh, in terms of what their strategy is, what the ball game is for them. So we'll take you down and pretty shortly there will be the news conference where we can get to know what exactly is happening, what exactly is going to be the ball game. Stick and stay here on Joy News. We are going to give you all the key happenings here as the, the budget debate concludes. There's a big fiasco as the majority have worked out. They say that they do not agree with the decision of the speaker to hold a head count. That would mean all MPs working, standing up in their seats to be counted. And so they worked out. But just when we thought the minority were going to have their way and reject this budget, the speaker of parliament suspended sittings. And so we'll take you to the news conferences that is just about to happen down there. 
and then we'll be back. We'll cut the scenes from the timber now so that we can ferry our camera down there. But really incredible scenes, just like we saw early 2021, heated scenes in Parliament. We'll be right back when the news, these news conferences begin.